Welcome to another Visit a Resource video. This video is going to be looking at one of the more well known video analysis apps that's out there, and that's Coach's Eye. But in particular, we're going to look at the latest version, which at the time of this recording is the 3.0 they've just brought out. So you can see here, Coach's Eye is available on Apple devices but also Android. So that's obviously one of the strengths they have. So we'll get into the footage. You can see here, we're just going to click on some footage of Maddie, and she's doing some serving. So as you can see, nice clear graphics. The flywheel down the bottom I do like in Coach's Eye. It's really easy to manoeuvre which I'll show you shortly. Uh, again having that slow-mo option is a good option but one of the things if you're going to compare these two Coach's Eye and Ubersense, Ubersense actually got multiple speeds so they've got half speed, quarter speed and so on and that's probably a little bit better than the Coach's Eye because you've only got the one speed which is half speed. So you can see here you do have the option of using that scrubbing wheel down the bottom so you can go through at different speeds but that's one of the things I do like about Ubersense. Now, as you can see, with a lot of the devices, when you're drawing tools, uh, they're really hard to actually get in the right position. With Coach's Eye, you can actually double touch. So you can see I've touched with my index and my thumb, and I can actually manoeuvre it really accurately to get it into the position that I want. So that's one thing I really do like about Coach's Eye. Uh, if I want to get rid of those pictures, I can actually just get rid of all of them. Uh, if I want, as far as drawing squares and rectangles, again, using that double touch option is can it allows me to be really accurate and then the same with the circle so you can see there just the, thing, the single finger doesn't actually work very accurately but if I want to manoeuvre it around using that finger and thumb touch I can actually get it nice and accurate so again getting rid of those just by using that right hand bottom icon just by getting rid of that page if on the other hand I've got a number of drawings and I want to get rid of one at a time just by doing or clicking on that undo button that allows me to do so nice and efficiently so one of the best things about the new version, the 3.0 in Coach's Eye, you can actually now have side by side. So see here, I'll bring in another angle of Maddie serving. So obviously I've taken that footage at another time, so just from behind. And you'll notice here I'm actually resizing that footage. Now that'll become clear as to why I've highlighted that later. But again, when I press play, you can see here I haven't actually got them in sync, so they're not at the correct position. So just by pressing pause and just using the flywheel down the bottom of each picture or each piece of footage I can actually get them into the position that I want them to be in so I might even just sort of go back to probably the start of Maddie's ball toss is probably not a bad position so there's a side on and I can do the same with the rear shot and when I get them in the right spot you can see there I've just clicked on the link in between those two flywheels and what that does it actually just locks them in together so that when I press play both the side on and the rear angle footage is actually going to play and again when I use the scrubbing wheel both of them are actually locked in so I only have to manoeuvre one of them which is really good okay so you can see here if we're going to go and actually do some drawing uh, we'll get them to the right position and we'll actually press the analysis record button so we're going to do some analysis and we're actually going to record it so everything I say and draw will be actually recorded so we'll just do some footage here and we'll just draw a line and on the other angle we'll just draw just a little arrow with a bit of a ball toss I suppose and we'll let it run so I'll click play again and just to show you how it works again we'll now press the stop on the record that takes us to our library I'll click on that orange icon one as you can see there and I'll just sort of delete that process to make it nice and quick and there you go so this is what actually comes up when I press play on this analysis footage you can see here that when I draw the actual lines and the little arrowhead, Coach's Eye does really well. It actually picks up the resizing. So I've reshaped it and manoeuvred the position of that footage, but it's actually picked it up. That's one of the things Ubersense doesn't do. It actually doesn't recognise when I move the footage around or zoom in. So that's one of the things I do like about Coach's Eye with their side-by-side -side analysis. So that's really good. Okay, so if I then wanted to actually email it or send it to someone, whether it be the athlete or if I wanted to post on YouTube, I've got those options there so you can see it doesn't take long. Admittedly, you do lose quality when you send it via email, but that's just the way it works. So, But all in all, I really do like the new version, the 3.0, and I think it's probably just slightly ahead of Ubersense. That's been another Fizz a Resource video. For more resource and mining game ideas, head to fizzeta.com.au. Thanks, guys.